Hello everybody, time for some more play along videos. I'm going to start out with flute today and I'm going to be using two different tools. I'm using my sphere. Um, uh, basically it's a uh, desktop um, projector that I'm using to uh, be able to write notes in my music and then I'm also going to use a program called smart music in the background that's going to play some stuff along with our recordings. Um, there's going to be some cool backgrounds that are going to be in there so I'll go through that in just a minute. All right, starting out, we're in number 15, Rising Rhythms. And if you need review on the counting, there's another video that I made for that. I'm only going to go over notes right now. I'm not going to go through the counting. We'll do that in sectionals and in class next week. So for flute, I've got the note D that goes for five notes, then the note E flat for five notes, F that's going to go both of these measures, and then back down to D for those. If you don't have that written in, um, if you need those notes, I highly recommend just lightly in pencil going ahead and writing that into your book. All right, now I'm going to play through this with my smart music recording. I'm going to play it once with no accompaniment, and then I'll put the part on or put the accompaniment on so you have something kind of fun to play with. Are three notes D? Oops, D is this uh, pinky or pointer finger up, two and three, thumb on the back, one, two, three, D, E flat, put the pinky down, and F, pointer finger goes down, and these two fingers, this one stays down, but all of this is now up. Okay, so that's D, this is up, E flat, and F. All right, now with accompaniment. Next, we're going to do number 16, Stepping Stones. So I've got E flat, two notes there, D for two notes, and then E flat. Then I've got E flat and F, back down to E flat. Remember, this is the one that centers around that middle note of the three that we had learned. Then we're going to go E flat, D, E flat, ah, D, E flat, and then E flat, F, E flat, D, and then ending with three E flats. And it sounds, whoop, I have to change this. Almost there. Sounds like this. And I'm going to bump down the tempo just a little bit. from me forgetting to put my finger, my pointer finger back down for F. So that's okay. It probably was going to happen to all of us. Turn the accompaniment on and we can hear that a little bit. Same tempo. Stepping stones take two.
adjustment on my flute. All right, next, we're going through the piece Rain, Rain, which is going to sound a little bit like the children's song. Rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. Now, it's not going to sound exactly like that. So hopefully this doesn't throw you too much because where I went up over here, come again some other day. This is actually going to go down. So we've got F, D, F times 2, D, F, two notes of that, two quarter notes, then D, E flat, two Fs again, D, F, D, F, D, F times two, D, E flat. And then this rest is gonna be super tricky, guaranteed, okay? It's gonna to try to fool us into playing on that. We're gonna do play our F and D. I will go ahead and do the counting for this, these two measures. So we've got one, two, three, four, one in parentheses as the rest, two, three dash four. So it's going to look like if we were to clap count, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, off. Okay. I'm going to get this set up. And then I'm going to play it for you two times. Once without the accompaniment and then once with the accompaniment. And you can probably hear that there's another flute that's playing in the background. They're doing a lot better than I am because it's computer generated um, and makes no mistakes. And I am not a very good flute player, so I make lots of mistakes. All right, here we go. Rain, rain. especially I took a breath on this one because that helps me to not uh, not play on the downbeat of one. All right, I'm going to slow it down just a little bit and we're going to turn the accompaniment on. It's not that loud. Okay, here we go. Take two with accompaniment. distracting, you can choose to just go back and do the one that doesn't have the accompaniment again. All right, I'm going to move my book. I'm going to erase all of this. And I'm going to scoot everything. Uh oh, I just scoot rather than scoot my book. Looks like I'm going to have to scoot the projector. So give me one second. I'll fix that. Oh, so tricky. All right, so our next three, we're going to be learning new notes for these. So flutes, your new note C is played by just your pointer finger and just your pinky. No thumb on the back. This is the first time we have the thumb lifted. It's a little bit tricky, especially jumping back and forth between D and C, where you have to move a lot of fingers, okay? So that's D, C, D, C. Now the trick is going to be to hold the flute so that your um, the kind of the meaty part of your finger up here is holding the flute there. The thumb is resting on that thumb key, but it's not pushing it down. We're using, um, on the right hand, we're using the thumb here, where I wiggle down there, and it kind of put using a little bit of pressure against the face to keep it nice and steady. And it's tricky at first, okay? So if it's a little bit challenging, don't worry. 
All right, our notes are E flat, that one's familiar, we know that one, D, and down to C, our new fingering, E flat, and there's two of those, two Ds, then C, and we've got C, D, E flat, F, E flat, and D, and C. Okay, so we're using our new note a few different times in this. <coughs> Let me get that queued up on Smart Music. All right, accompaniment is off. I'm going to bump down the tempo because we've got a new note and it's going to be a little bit tricky right at first. All right, here we go. So I just pushed my uh, head joint into the body just a little bit. Let's go with the accompaniment now. Some of you have, guys have been playing this one already. So I've got D, C, and we're going to learn this new note, B flat. B flat is played the same as C, pointer, and pinky from the, both extreme ends of the flute. And we're going to add the thumb on the back, and we're going to add the pointer finger on the other hand. So we have kind of like two and two, and almost makes this... So there's four fingers total, and like I said, two, this two and two idea. So from C to B flat, and the thumb comes off the back. And if I go B flat, C, D. Sorry, I didn't lift my pinky. three notes are probably the hardest on the flute. I know that they're still the hardest for me to do. So um, like I said before, this part is tricky and then it gets like way easier. The other instruments start out a little bit easier than the flute, but the flute gets easier from here. The other instruments get harder from here. Okay. So the hard part is basically done for you guys. If you got this and it's not a problem, then you are ready to go. All right. Hot cross buns, cue that up. I'm going to bump the tempo down because we have new stuff and it's tricky. No accompaniment for this first round. Here we go. Turn the accompaniment on and see what that sounds like. Not that loud though.
Ta-da. And the last one on this page uses all of the notes. This one is pretty complicated. This is go tell Aunt Rudy. So D, D, C, B flat. Goes through those measures. C, C, E flat, D, C, B flat, F, F, E flat, ah, D, through that whole measure, C, E flat, D, C, and B flat. Ah, oh, that B flat got away from me. All right, that's okay. Now, before you do this one, I would recommend going through and just practicing going from D, C flat. Just go through some of those notes. There's not C flat. B, B flat, C, and D. So you can do all the way up from B flat to F. As much as you need to do. And you can make that a separate part of practice time or you can do it before you do these individual songs. All right, let's get that queued up. We now just have more notes that we're working with. There'll be five and there'll be five for quite some time. Okay, now we have five notes. We're not going to get any new ones, at least not on the rest of the next page. So that's like at least a, like another two weeks. Okay, going to slow this one down. And here we go. Hardest song we've done so far. Go tell Aunt Rhody. here what that background sounds like and one more time ready eight guys you are all doing fantastic um have an incredible halloween and a wonderful week next week all right bye guys